Fourth of July holiday means tens of thousands of people will hit Jacksonville area beaches. It's among the busiest weekends of the year. Sky 4 flew over the Jacksonville Beach Pier, which will not be open to the public just yet. There's been a years-long project to rebuild it because of hurricane damage. City leaders say the pier should be opening next week, but they'll still use it for the beach's fireworks show on the 4th. News for Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci shows us how beachgoers and first responders are getting ready for a packed weekend. From the sand to the sidewalk to the streets, beaches area lifeguards and firefighters as well as police officers are gearing up for what will surely be an incredibly busy holiday weekend with huge crowds. Just go to the beach and get some beer and hang out. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> this couple is vacationing in Jacksonville Beach from Northern Virginia. We let them know it's quiet now, but in a few days, it'll be more like this. People from all over come to the beaches on bikes, skateboards, really anything on wheels. Just to the north in Neptune Beach, this city of 7,200 will see thousands of visitors. You see the 4th of July and Neptune Beach goes from a, a quiet beach town to <laughs> one of the busiest places in Northeast Florida. Absolutely How does. do you deal with that with a small police department? We'll have approximately uh, 30 to 35 police officers patrolling Neptune Beach. They'll do that uh, via uh, bicycle patrol obviously via vehicles. Uh, we'll put them out on four wheelers and ATVs on the beach and obviously on a foot patrol type situation as well. Commander Mike Key says other agencies like the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office help patrol and respond to emergencies. Officers are making most of First Street one big bicycle lane as people hop from house parties to beach tents. Because of that, you've made the decision once again to close down First Street. Absolutely, so from Seagate Avenue, to Cherry Street, all along the First Street corridor of Neptune Beach, we decided to completely shut the road to vehicular traffic. We have bicyclists that are gonna be commuting, thousands of them. We really want the safety of those bicyclists, the pedestrians, the skateboarders, the hoverboarders, everybody else to, uh, to really be safe as they uh, commute back and forth and enjoy their 4th of July. In the water, red flags are flying right now and possibly through the holiday. Rough waves, rip currents, and high heat, all concerns for lifeguards who know it's all hands on deck. Preparing for what is called the Super Bowl of lifeguarding. They're preaching the basics, repetitive, yes, but people still seem to forget. We want to remind all bathers and beachgoers to never swim alone, always swim in front of a lifeguard, and to stay hydrated. Uh, even when it may not feel hot, the sun's out, you're outside, uh, it's very prone to getting dehydrated. And we will see the grand finale for this busy 4th of July holiday weekend, Monday night at 9 o'clock. That's when the fireworks are scheduled to go off from the Jacksonville Beach Pier. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station.